honestly, I really don't know what's the most worrying or irritating fact about this whole John Morant situation. It could be John Morant choosing to do this stuff, especially for the second time. For the first time, he said he got help in Florida. He said he needed to be a better leader less than a month ago. When asked in a press conference after being knocked out by the Lakers, what stuff happened during the season that could have led to better results for the team. And he said being a better leader on and off the court, making better decisions on and off the court. And I completely agree with him. So at the same time, him doing this less than two weeks or less than three weeks later is, I don't know, mind blowing to me. I'm honestly surprised by this and I couldn't believe when I first heard about it because he was already clearly just throwing money away the first time. But then he got a second chance and he does it again. And imagine this ends up well for him. I don't want him to go down or anything like that, but there has to be consequences for the stuff he does. And honestly, his friends is another part of this whole situation that I think is pretty sad if you look at it. I don't understand why you need to cut on the camera and go on social media when y'all hang out. You know what this man does. You know he's public. You know he has so much to lose, but at the same time, you put him in a situation to allow himself to do something stupid and it's publicly known. I think that's just very, very bad and very, very selfish of that friend to do that. John Morant already chose to hang out with you. You're his friend. Regardless of the money that he has, he still decides to spend his time with you. And he probably spends a lot of money on you because of the fact that you may not be able to afford to go to all the places or do all the things that he likes to do or that you want to do now because of his access. So the least you could fucking do is to not post or go public on live when y'all hanging out. It sounds and it looks very childish to me. And I'm just being honest. I hate to talk about another man that way, but come on, man, you costing this guy so much by putting him, by putting him in these situations where he just fucks up. And I understand that John Moran is a grown man. He needs to make better decisions, but at the same time, his friends need to understand, have a private life. You don't need to stunt for social media. That stuff is sad. But as I think about this more and more, I think the most worrisome or bothering part about this whole thing is the culture aspect. John Moran grew up with two parents in the home. He grew up in a nice situation. There is really no reason at all he should have been attracted to the gang lifestyle or trying to act like a gangster. That is not who he is. He never was that from my understanding. But now that I got this money and he's in Memphis and he's surrounded by all this like drill music and drill culture we have now. And that's been going on for a while. Since like the 90s and the 80s. I guess he decided to take the path of trying to act like a hard gangster because I guess that's cool now. Once again, it goes back to the culture. When we have people making excuses for rappers and musicians doing heinous crimes like murder, robbery, and other fucked up shit, just because they can rap about doing the exact same messed up stuff in a fun, cool way that you like, you can't tell me that it's not an issue with our culture. We shouldn't be allowing people to do that type of stuff. And so, I don't know, idolize them, or at bare minimum, want them to be free and not suffer consequences. So many times over the past, what, 15, 20 years at this point, since I was a young kid, I've had to see people say, free him, free them, free my family, free my homeboy, he ain't hurt nobody. Shoot, even hear people say, free this artist, free that artist, free this rapper, free this athlete, free whoever, just because they're good at a certain thing. And just because they're good at a certain thing, they don't want them to face consequences for the stuff they did. And when you don't let them face consequences, the victims and future victims only suffer more. But oftentimes the person that is escaping consequences suffer themselves because they don't see the ramifications of their actions. They only see what they're getting out of it. But if you don't have consequences, you can't see how the bigger long-term problem is much more effective on you compared to the short-term pleasure that you're getting. Whether it be robbing people, killing people, anything at all, when you prioritize short-term pleasure over long-term consequences, especially when they're bad ones, then oftentimes you're gonna lead yourself down bad rabbit holes or making bad mistakes. And I think that's much more important to talk about compared to making excuses for them. Don't care about your skin color, 
And I don't care what you guys say about white supremacy or systemic racism. Little kids getting shot in Chicago or other major cities across this country because of gang violence they're not even involved in. But these gang members just don't care. They just be shooting and spraying. They don't want to spend the block on the op. Fucking stupid. But it's selfish. But our culture say it's cool, it's fine. Niggas die every day. But when it's a cop or somebody else doing it to us, we want to go in the streets. I'm of the opinion that each person in both situations, life is valuable. You shouldn't be just disregarding somebody else just because they're black and they was a victim of a crime. You should be going after the same gang members the same way you go after the police. I can't, I can't stand this whole mindset of saying fuck Krell, fuck the police, but you're not fine with saying fuck the gang member that almost killed me when I was a young kid. You have no problem with the gang members that do, accidentally or not, hurt young children. Half the time, they don't give a fuck. They keep doing the same behavior and they think it's cool. It think, they think it makes them a real nigga, quote unquote, and don't understand it. It's our culture, man. Listen to our music. Listen to the stuff you see on social media and the type of stuff you want to allow or make excuses for. It only leads to more situations like this. <clears throat> This whole John Morant thing, it makes it all very much more public. I think that's what's very important about it. This whole decision making thing he's doing happens to a lot of young kids and it's stupid. The only difference is that he's public, he's older, and he has a lot of writing on him. And he still made the same dumb decisions. Hopefully people can see this stuff, young kids can see this stuff. Fathers can point to this situation with John Morant and say, don't do this shit because it only leads you down to a bad path. Hopefully John Morant can turn this around because I don't want to see him go down, I don't know, homelessness or being like a dropout or getting kicked out of the NBA. He has so much talent and he could be a great player. I'm not a fan of how he acted this past season or in the playoffs, but at the end of the day, he has so much potential. And I think if he just had the right influence in his life, he will be perfectly fine. But riding around these young niggas that involve with criminal activity or don't think about the stuff they do before they do it, you're going to get yourself hurt even, even more. Stop idolizing people like NBA Youngboy, who isn't shit, who have multiple baby mamas talk about killing niggas and shit. I don't understand it. I don't know why our culture and our people love this stuff so much. I find it low grade and detestable, to be honest with you. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to how they feel about people that look just like them and tell me whether or not I'm the coon for the way I stand or are they the coon for the way they just kill people that look like them and not give a fuck. Then up, so let's just go blast them. Even though the stuff that we selling and fighting for only hurts more black people and minorities for the most part. Even though the land or the territory we fighting for isn't owned by anybody within that gang and the value of that territory isn't shit in the real world. It's only worthwhile in this game warfare lifestyle, which really isn't amount to anything at all in the long term. We talk about so much about dying young and black men dying young, but look at the statistics and why does that happen so often? Maybe we can stop doing this stuff to ourselves and we can get some good results. And that's what I'm all about. I just had to get this ran out. I didn't feel like doing no intro or nothing because it's, I don't know, the situation is serious. So, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's your boy Logos, and I'll see you next time. Peace.